Let's talk about the Staccato CS. What's going on guys? I hope all you are doing great. Today's gonna be a fun video. It was very fun for me. Hopefully you guys are entertained by it. And it's a fun video for you guys to watch. But this was my very first time shooting a 2011. Now, this is my not first time owning one. I did own a Pit Viper for a little bit of time, but life got in the way and I no longer have it. But yes, yeah, so my first time shooting a 2011 and it was the Staccato CS. Before we dive into this video, get some things off my chest real quick. Guys, I did make another YouTube channel. This channel is still going to be here. Um, weekly videos on firearm content, firearm talks, training, all that fun stuff. But I did make another video, or I'm sorry, another channel, and it is for my live streaming and gaming. I'm a very big gamer. I've done it since I was a very little kid, all the way now to almost 30. I play games quite a bit, and I figured, you know what, maybe let's let's start some live streams, kind of interact with some people out here, some do some chat, party up, whatever. So I did make another channel on YouTube. Um, it's called Eyes on the Hour. It is my gaming channel, and I'm also out there on Twitch. I film, I stream about three to five times a week. So guys, if you want to come kick it with me in that chat, Twitch, or YouTube, I'll leave a link to both down in the description below. But let's dive into today's video. We're going to go and talk about the Staccato CS. First Staccato owning, my first 2011 shooting. Guys, this was a fun gun. But let's go through the unboxing and then we will dive in and talk about what I think about the Staccato CS. So obviously you get the firearm by, its, by itself. And then you get this Staccato bag is what it came in. Let's go over everything. There's a lot, there's a lot of crap in here, so y'all bear with me. If you don't wanna watch it, just, just speed it up, I understand. So it comes with a total of three 16 round magazines. Yes, this is a nine millimeter, it's a 2011. So also there's more spots to put more mags in here. You got, uh, before you shoot for Staccato, you have your activate your lifetime warranty up there. There's some literature and warning cards here. There's so much stuff in here. You get, my goodness, blow me away. Your manual, your literature book, whatever you want to call it. Uh, talking about the optic plate here. 
This is a become part of the Scotto team. Youth Handgun Safety Act. Is that all? Lit no, there's more stuff in here. <laughs> and you get, oh goodness, um, some Warrior's Heart stuff. Get where they test fire the round. Obviously the tags that was on it. A Built for Heroes about Sakato, and then you get a little Sakato sticker. I know you guys don't care anything about this stuff. I'm just going through everything in this bag. And we'll dive in a firearm. You get a final assembly, final assembly, I can't say that, final assembly quality check completed. So remember that everything's going to your firearm. And then you get, for the optic plate, oh, and then a lock. Is that it? That is it. Obviously, you get this really nice bag. Um, so let's set this aside and dive straight into the pistol. So let's talk about the Staccato CS 2011. If you guys want to see specs on weight, width, length, all that detailed stuff, this video is not for you. Google it or watch another channel. I'm not trying to be a dick. I just I don't go over that stuff. I simply go over my opinions on what I like and don't like. So that's not for you. I'm, I'm sorry. So I said three mag it is 16 round magazine. So that is pretty nice. I do like, I mean, I know a lot of guns now, like the X macro and everything, they're like pushing 20, but 16 rounds of nine millimeter. I mean, man, if you just want to carry just this concealed, no extra mags. If you can't hopefully get the job done with 16 rounds, whatever the case is, I mean, you can put an extra one in there, but 16 rounds guys, you're, you're ready to go. Plus one in the chamber, 17 there. So yeah, let's just, I'm gonna go over first the overall looks of this beauty. Man, this is, this is a sweet looking gun. I, I just, this right here is a beautiful looking gun. And for the price range, it better be. I love, that's what draws me is looks. There are a lot of times I love the look of a firearm. The gun just actually, it's shit. It sucks, man. I, I mean, it's, I, I've shot a lot of firearms in my life and some of my, like, oh my God, I want to love this. I'm like, this is awful. Like, oh my God, for the money, like, you couldn't do anything better. But yeah, just, just take it all in. This is just. This is gorgeous, man, if you ask me. Everything about it, it's just, yeah. So, looks, obviously, you know I love the damn thing. Now, let's go over some things on it, triggers, sights, all that, feel. So, the feel of this, man, I love, like, I know they changed up some stippling and stuff years ago, but I love the, the grip, just how rough the stippling is. Like, it's Rubbing my side is not really an issue. I mean, it's it's going to, if you're, depending on what kind of body type and everything else, it, it, it might rub a little bit, but it's not going to be bad. Like, I stipple some of my pistols myself, like my Glocks, I stipple myself, and some of those can bite you bad. This is, it lets you know, hey, I'm here, you got blood on your hands, your hands are wet, whatever, you ain't, we're not going to fly out of your hands. So it's got definitely good positive feedback on the grip, that stippling, just, man, it can't get any better. Got your back safety for the trigger. That nice beaver to that bezel, man. That just, ah, it's so nice right there. It's, mm. can I ask, you got your, obviously your cocker. Oh. Yeah, so get that down. Um, you got plate right here for optics. This is probably going to be my new concealed carry. Um, I know you're a dick. You're going to carry that, that expensive gun for concealed carry. Why are you, oh, you're just trying to show off the gun. Guys, I, I carry what I like and what feels good. Have I tried concealing this? No, my holster's on the way. I'm gonna rock with it for about a week, see how everything feels and drawing everything else, see how I, it adjusts my body. I'm not small, but I'm not big. I'm, 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 I'm 225, I, I got a little bit of size on me. But I'm gonna see how this feels for about a week and then everything goes good. We're gonna start rocking with it. So, mag release, it, it's pretty positive, it's a simple mag release. You got your slider release, and then this is something, yes, it's 2011. I used to be very just like disgruntled on safeties. Like this should be your safety. That's why I tell everybody, oh my God, you carry one around in the chamber. You didn't have a safety. What's gonna happen? Guys, this is your safety. No gun is just gonna magically start walking and just shoot. But I've kind of just overlooked the safeties. Um, it is here. So, and it's very positive. So guys, if you want to rock this and with a safety, it don't really bug me. If my safety's on, no, they never are. 
But say if you just want to have that extra precaution, say whatever, in a nightstand with it being locked up, if you just want to take that extra step, I understand why it's here. So yeah, very positive safety on this. It says slider release, everything else, it's great. So sights, this is, this is where my, it's a love or hate relationship with me with pistols. If a pistol does not have blacked out rear sights, rear sights, I don't like it. It's going to get replaced if I don't have it. My favorite sights is blacked out rear sights and then say fiber optic, tritium, whatever night sight in the front. Cicado, being the price they are, they got that. So you got blacked out rears, your fiber up front. And this sight, man, this is just... It's, that's what I like. like. A lot of my friends hate the blacked out rear sights. Like, why? Because it's easier to find that front sight picture. Like, whenever you're coming up, that's the first thing that I see. Like, it's it's just there instead of like, oh, I got to look at these colors, put these colors. It's just, it naturally goes directly to my eye, that front sight post. Rear as blurry as can be, and all I see is that red on that front post. That's why I like the rear blacked out. If you guys don't like them, man, I'm telling you. Smile once again, my opinion, but just I shoot so much better. My eyes just see that front sight post so much more clear with those blacked out rear irons. Um, so yeah, obviously, I love that about it. The gun, man, it's just like all the just the details on this, like how they have that nice, it's just everything is nice. Picking a rail, they just went in a great detail. It is staccato. Like, I love that flag there, man. They just, that skeletonized trigger. Save this the best for last, because, man, I've never met anybody. I've also seen videos, but I've never actually met anyone that said any 2011s, I don't have to be Cicado. There's other companies out there, but I've never heard any of my friends or people or family say they did not enjoy the trigger or shooting a 2011. Because these guns is made from the dang trigger, man. This trigger is... I'm going to spit a little bit. Huh, sorry if I got that on you. This trigger is just... Talk about the B's and E's. This shit the B's and E's, man. So let, let's go over trigger. All right. For those that have a Cicada, you, you know how these triggers are. So let's see this in here a little bit closer. My fat finger hold it up. I'm going to have to... I mean, it's not too light, not too heavy, but ju just, just, just perfect, just perfect. Ooh, that little, that, that positive, you hear that positive reaction, that re reset. There, little bit of a pull. Once again, just a, a tad bit take up. I barely have to kind of lift. See, I even lifted too much right there. But so it's I'll show you again. So there, it's all you got. Pull a little bit. Break. That alone, I think, is why 2011 sent out there. Now, all you guys said, oh my god, you're you're riding staccato's dick. You're you're on the bandwagon fan. I'm not on the bandwagon. So I've owned a pit viper, I'm not shooting it. If I was on the bandwagon, I'd have, I'd have as many as I could. This is my first time shooting a 2011, and man, I know there's great ones out there. Like the um, the XC was the one I was really wanting, but I wanted another carry gun. I want to kind of another do it all carry gun because all my carry my carry uh, firearms are the ones I train with the most, or like say my go to ARs, the most ones I train with. So I was like, what can I get? Because I've been using, I was using the three a 19, then I went to a Sig 365. And now I've been on my 43X for going on three years, I believe. So I, I carry it. I like it. I like my 43X, but I wanted something new. And I know you're going to say, you're, you're carrying a $2,500. Yes, this is $2,500, give or take. You might find them cheaper. might find them a little more expensive other places. $2,500. Now, if you are 
say law enforcement, I believe military, they do have the heroes discount. You have to go send your credentials in, everything else. And you do get quite a bit of a discount. And I believe with certain models, can't remember which one it was, but they send you like three extra mags for free. So I was like, yeah, but it can't, you can't beat that. But for the price, man, they are, um, I know some agencies do run the, um, man, I, it's, I'm having a brain fart. It's the Cicado D, oh my God. I'm, I'm just, it's one of those, though. It's like your, not basic one, but it's like a lot, it's the duty one. Um, so I know a lot of people carry that, but yeah, this is, this is going to be my new carry. Carry it for a week, see how it feels against my body, everything else, see how I maneuver with it, because whenever I am at the gym, um, I usually don't have my firearm on me when I'm at the gym. There is times I do, depends on what kind of workout I'm doing, but me moving around stuff, I usually don't. Usually it's in my bag, but it literally stays with me at all times. So I'm intrigued on this. The weight, I mean, it's it's a little bit heavier than, say, my 19. It, it's not massively heavy. I mean, it's obviously heavier, um, but it's not something. I, when I first got this, I like, man, it's gonna be that's going to be heavy carry, and that's going to be – you're going to have a little bit of weight, but I'm not a small guy. I'm not a big guy. I mean, I'm 225, so I should be able to carry this with ease. So, yeah. The Staccato CS, my thoughts, impressions on it, everything else. This is not a fact video, my simple opinion. Guys, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you could like this video, if you like it, of course, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to me already, and also hit that bell notification down below to be notified when I upload videos. Videos are coming back weekly. I fell off twice now. I said life happens. Some stuff's been going on with me, some medical stuff, but I'm here. I'm trying to get it out here. I, I enjoy these videos, whether I have a lot of people watching, whether I have a little bit, or whether it's just me watching my video back. I don't care. I enjoy this stuff, guys. I like hopefully bringing some information or say some thoughts if you're in the market for some of these or have any questions or if you're getting new into firearms. I love talking to new people that is just now like, hey, Maybe they didn't like guns or they didn't think they needed one. Whatever the case is, it's like, I want to get my first one. I want to go to the range. Let's go train. Let's go shoot with some pointers, with some stuff to get. I love that. I love being able to educate as best as I can because I'm not a professional, but educate as best as I can to other people, especially new shooters and new people getting in the firearms and the safeties and fundamentals and how just how firearms are and how they should be treated. Because it's not, it's not a toy. Um, guys, I did say about it in the beginning of this video, talk about it real quick. I do have my new channel on YouTube and Twitch live streaming videos three to five times a week. If you guys want to come kick it with me in the chat, I'm going to leave that link down in the description below. But guys, I appreciate it. And as always, y'all have a good one.